Hi guys, it's JJ here. Happy Thursday. Uh, I've got a question for you. Are you a sticky beak like me who whenever somebody, maybe they're doing a Facebook Live or a video or they've got a photo and there's books behind them and you sort of want to zoom, well, if it's a photo, you zoom in and go, what sort of books have they got? <laughs> I hope someone else is saying out there, yeah, that's me. Uh, so that I'm not alone, please, if you're on this Facebook Live, please say, yes, that's me, so that I know that I'm not alone. But it's so interesting, isn't it, to see what people read. And I'm an avid reader. I think that reading is potential knowledge. If we read the book to the end, number one, firstly, if we start the book, <laughs> Secondly, if we read it to the end. And thirdly, making sure we implement anything that we've got, uh, any learnings that we've got in that book. Um, and, of course, taking notes, highlighting, all that sort of stuff. Now, some of you might even go, oh, highlighting, I wouldn't do that. Um, for me, even my cookbooks, I just I ear tag them. I, is that what you call them, ear tag them? I don't know. i tag them anyway, and I put... Uh, highlights, I put notes, I do all that sort of stuff uh, because for me books are uh, like my manual to whatever information is in there uh, and I just love knowledge and I love to learn and to be better than I was yesterday, you know, that little bit better in whatever I'm looking at. So I thought today what could be fun is that I could show you a little bit of my bookcase here because even some of you may have already been uh, to my house and had a quick look, uh, but you probably haven't really looked in, de in depth because you've just had a, a little snippet. And so I thought I would go through a few of them so they can have a little squeeze at them. Uh, and I'd also love to know your feedback. You know, what books have you got? You might have some similar books to me. Um, you might tell me what recipes, if it's a cookbook, that you've tried in some of those books that I should try. I'd love that. Or you might have some insights into some of the books that you've got that I've got. Or I may have books that you think, shit, JJ, I didn't see that book. I think that's a really great book that you should get. You know, I'd love to have any insights from you guys. That would be fantastic. So I'm going to now share my collection with you. And I'm going to go through a couple of stuff that I think is interesting. So for those that want the sticky beak, this is your opportunity to have that sticky beak. So I'm just going to turn the camera. I'm just in my study at the moment. So I'm just going to turn this camera around. Here we go. Um, as you know, at the moment, I have got some, some little shelf talkers that I've just written up because I've just organized my, uh, my bookshelf. Uh, at the moment so so now it's organized which is great but I just have to get some shelf talkers happening now um, so let me start over here so here on the top racks what I've got is all my self-development books when I say all it's not all of them um, and it's not all of my good books either because I've still got some in, some in storage that I haven't gone through and we've got some other bookshelves downstairs in the garage um, that we that I'm going to be filling, <laughs> but these are the ones I've got at the moment, which I'm really excited now they're organised because it was doing my absolute head in that I couldn't find anything. So up here, uh, so all uh, a couple of shelves here are all authors, so they're under author names. So I've got people like you know, saying from A to M here. So I've got Brene Brown. Uh, what else have I got? I've got Emma Isaacs, which I thought that was quite interesting. Uh, I've got Jay Shetty. Uh, I really loved um, Lisa Messenger's books. Um, I thought they were great. So I've got a, a couple of hers uh, there. Coming over here to different authors, uh, I've got Mel Robbins, which is the five second rule. I've got another one of hers, but I'm, uh, I must that must be still in storage. Um, then I've got Stephen Covey, which I love Stephen Covey's book. I love The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. If you haven't read that, that is a must. 
um, I think, to read. Um, and then, of course, I've got my Tony Robbins books, which, again, I absolutely love. My favourite is Awaken the Giant Within, which is really like a manual for your mind. It is so powerful. Uh, and by memory, Anthony Robbins wrote that in one day and just kept writing and writing and writing, and it's massive. Like, it's so thick. And those of you that have written a book or have are starting to write a book or attempted to write a book, I mean, look at the, and this is an old book, so I actually got, I can't even remember where I got this. Um, it's pretty old, as you can see, the discolorization of it. Um, and I love just, uh, yeah, I love some of the topics in it. I have read this book. I don't know how many times I've read this book, but I'm always going into this book um, all about emotions and uh, um, how, how you control your emotional state. It's just fantastic. So I really, really love that book. So if you haven't read that, I would definitely say, oops, oops, I'll put that up later. Um, I definitely say to get that one. So uh, what else we got here? I love um, this one from Barry Dubois from The Living Room. Uh, those of you that haven't uh, listened to his interview with me on my podcast, Be Your Own Best Coach with JJ, which is on Spotify, make sure that you listen to that because uh, Barry is uh, fabulous. Uh, and what else have I got over here that I absolutely love? Um, so here we've gone over to, so here we've gone to uh, biographies or autobiographies. Body language, which is an interest of mine. Any business books that I've got? Um, so I've just put some business ones here. Then I've got behavioral profiling. So again, you know, there's some really great books here. Uh, the Five La Love Languages, I thought, you know, think is a fantastic book. Um, I've got Carl Jung's, I uh, haven't finished that book, Psychological Types, um, but that's a great book as well. Pretty in depth. Um, then I've got some coaching books here, um, some books on death and disorders and uh, the dummies collection over here. Um, then if I go down here, what have I got? i got emotional intelligence, um, finance, and then some of my friends' books, which is fantastic. So some of my friends' books there. Um, then I've got... Uh, Habits, so I love the different habits books. And the one that I love, the, the most popular is prob probably Atomic Habits. That's probably the most popular, people will say. But for me, I love Tiny Habits. I do love Atomic Habits as, habits as well, but I really love Tiny Habits even more. Um, so if anyone wants any books on habits, that that's the one. All, all Atomic Habits is a great one too. Um, that I would recommend. So we've got history here, and then we've got some inspirational type, motivational type reading here. Uh, we've got some leadership ones here. Uh, what have I got in leadership here? Yeah, and then I've got NLP. So for those that know NLP, it's Neuro Linguistic Programming, so it's like a manual for your mind. I've got psychology and mindset here. I've got some politics ones. So this is a great one uh, that uh, a lot of people recommend, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. So that's a great book um, if you want to read something like that. Uh, then we've got here um, some public speaking and facilitation books. And I've got an old, an old book here. It's a trainer's manual on different games and stuff um, that I've got, which is, um, which is great. Uh, then I've got relationship ones here. And then I've got some religion here. Now, this is interesting. So I've got the, the Bible here. I've got this book, which <laughs> this is really interesting. I'm taking it out. I'll probably have to leave it out and put it back in. This is like a Scientology one. Years and years ago, I looked at um, some courses in Scientology. They did some courses. Um, I found it really weird. But um, and I haven't read the. I looked at some stuff of this book, um, and it's interesting. You know, it, it's interesting what people's perceptions are. You know, sometimes people will see a book in your uh, on your bedside table or whatever. I remember I had um, Donald Trump one years ago, and someone put a comment to say, "Oh, I thought I liked you, but yet you have a Donald Trump book on your <laughs> bedside table." I mean, that means nothing really. 
Um, you know, I've got books on Hitler, I think, somewhere. It doesn't mean that I love him. Um, and same thing with Scientology. Um, it's interesting to just learn, you know, learn about the other religions and, and see what they're about. Um, so that's that one. Um, and then I've just got some sales and some writing uh, books there. And then I've got uh, lots of cookbooks that I want to show you as well. So, again, I've got celebrity cookbooks. So those of you that love cookbooks, uh, I'd love to know your feedback on what cookbooks you may have or if you've got the same similar uh, cookbooks as I have. That, that's a <laughs> You can't see the cookbooks. So that's, that's my mask that I got when I was in Venice. So I've got some travelling stuff here as well. Um, so this is celebrity cooks. From A to B, as I said, I've got to get some shelf talkers for this. And um, that's our wedding photo with uh, my uh, hubby Rocky's uh, mum, who's passed away now. But it's a nice, beautiful photo of her. Um, and so, yet celebrity chefs here. So some of them I love. I love. So if I go down here, uh, I love Antonio Coluccio. Love Italian cooking, and I love Bill Granger. Bill Granger has some really great books. Here's a couple, a few of them that um, I I cook from quite a lot. There's some great dishes here. Um, this is Bill's Sydney food. What have I got um, tagged? Oh, I think I've got. Oh, this is amazing. If you've been to Bill's, um, Bill has a cafe in. Uh, I think it's in, is it in Paddington. I can't remember. It's in Sydney. And they do this yummy, yummy coconut bread, and this is the recipe for it. Um, so they have um, beautiful, beautiful recipes. This is a great one. This is spaghetti with crab lime and chili. I adapted a little bit, as you can see with all my notes. But that's a really great, great one for entertaining because you can actually get all the uh, the sauce and everything ready beforehand, and then all you have to do is actually cook the pasta and then pop it in really it's so so simple um and there's another great recipe here that i love um is it in this book let me just check oh this one yum 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 seafood stew which is absolutely delicious and again i'm i've made this that many times but um i'm always changing recipes <laughs> As well, so that's a really great book. And then he's got um, a couple of others. These ones I love too, which is um, Bill's Food, uh, Bill's Open Kitchen. Love that. Uh, then what else have I got? Donna Hayes, always fantastic. This is my new one that that you guys might have seen on one of my posts. Is uh, first cream and butter and sh uh, cream the butter and sugar by Amelia Jackson. So she's the um, Master Chef um, person that won Master Chef. Um, I can't remember what year. Um, great book. One of my Facebook friends actually recommended this, um, and yeah, I'm so glad that she did. I bought it that day that she recommended. So it's some yummy stuff here. Um, not great for the the waistline, <laughs> but divine. And again, I've tagged. Actually, I've tagged, and my freaking family have tagged what they want me to cook so i've never made macaroons guys i've never made them so i've got those down as a challenge for myself to make um then who's this oh then chocolate brownies my son loves chocolate brownies so um they're tagged the other one that's tagged is the chocolate mud cake with silky chocolate ganache that's my son again <laughs> Um, he loves chocolate cake. He used to love, uh, I feel like I've got to say this quiet, he used to love the Safeway one. Um, and now he's so focused on what crap they put into food. That he's like, Mum, you've got to make everything. And even though, you know, this that one's probably full of sugar that I'm going to make anyway, at least I know what's in it. There's no other crap that I don't know what's in it. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to make that for him. And then we've got uh, here sour cream vanilla cheesecake with quinces. I'll show you the photo. Oh, where is it? <laughs> is it here? Somewhere here. Let me have a look. It just looked really delicious. Oh, there it is. Yeah, look. Look at that. How good does that look? My husband loves cheesecake. Um, of course, a good pav. 
Um, so I'm going to try that one. And this one, I love tiramisu. So this is a tiramisu cake. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so that's a great book. There's even others I've got e-tab. I won't show you all through the, all of them. Um, and so, yeah, so then I've got uh, some other ones I love is, I love Gordon Ramsay. I think he's fantastic. He's a fantastic cook. Uh, he's Gino. Um, I love Italian food. Those of you that know that I love Italian food, George Columbaris, which is fantastic. Um, and I love Guy Grossi. Guy Grossi's restaurants, I just love them. His food is fantastic. So that's Guy Grossi's. I've got Heston here. And look, I've got all of these Jamie Oliver ones. <laughs> just ridiculous, isn't it? Um, but the Jamie Oliver ones, I love this one. Jamie's Italian, Italy, just love. That's one of my favourites. Um, and even his, I think it's his 15-minute or his 20-minute meals or 30-minute meals, I can't remember. I've got all of them, I think, um, are, are really good too. Um, and I've just passed here. I know this isn't a book, but this is our our photo from Thailand. <laughs> so, uh, And then this is a beautiful little painting from um, Paris um, that we got when we were in Paris, which is gorgeous. Um, and then I've got the other ones I love. I love Janelle Bloom. She's um, fantastic. I've got Julie Goodwin, who I love, and uh, Karen Martini as well. So then I go over here. And what have we got down? And, and so these are still celebrity chefs here. Uh, I've got uh, Carly Kwan, Matt uh, uh, Miguel. I love Miguel. It's Miguel. So it's a nice Spanish food. There's Miguel. And, of course, Neil Perry here. So I've got a few Neil Perry. And I love Nigella. Like, Nigella's got some great ones. I'm going to get her. I haven't got um, one of her books. Uh, I've just realised the Goddess book, I think it is. Um, but I love uh, Nigella as well. Uh, there's my little babies. We haven't got them anymore. We've lost them. But that was the Molly and that's little hens. Uh, and I love this photo because it shows their personality. Henry's like this. He was like this little tough boy. <laughs> He had attitude, and that photo just looks like he's like, hey, man, like, don't look at me. And then this was a little Princess Molly. <laughs> um, then I've got Pete Evans. Uh, I love Poe. There's Peter Curavita. He has some great, so the Sri Lankan food. Um, and Poe for MasterChef. Uh, I love Poe's recipes. This is probably one of my favourite recipe books from Poe, Poe's Kitchen. Um, and then I've got Rick Stein. I love Rick Stein. Um, Sylvia Coloca, which is fantastic. And I love, uh, I love Toby's, um, Toby Putox as well. So he's got some uh, great, I love Italian food. I love cooking Italian food. So he's got some great things. Um, and then I've got some, then we go into different, uh, I've got Africola. So we've got different, uh, Types of cooking. So here I've got African, Asian, and Australian. Um, I've got some baking and barbecue, Caribbean, Chinese um, type food. And then going down to here, I'll just move my bean, bean bag here. Then we've got Christmas. So I've got my Christmas books. And then I've got cooking shows. Food Safari is just like my favourite. We've got the DVDs and um, just absolutely love food so far. If you haven't got one of those books, um, make sure that you got it. You get one of those. Um, then I've got the Greedy Italians, Two Greedy Italians. I love that. And Hairy Bikers. Um, so they're fantastic. And I've got some MasterChef ones as well. Um, and then we've got some curry ones, desserts. We have French um, I got this, I got this, um, the winner from a restaurant, um, Philippe Rich or whatever his name is. It was fantastic. Um, general cooking. And then I have Greek cooking. I love this one. These, these guys were in, I think, MKR. Uh, what's it called? Taking to your home. Helena and Vicky. I love that one. That's a great one. They, their recipe for pita is fantastic. And then I've got some health. And then going down here, see that camera there? That's um, 
I think it's my husband's grandfather's camera. It's really old, <laughs> but it's sitting there. Um, so we've got Health, Indian, and then I've got a million Italian ones. And I love the, um, I love the Nonna book. So there's like Cooking with Nonna, and it's got Nonna's House. <laughs> I love all those sort of cookbooks. And then we've got Japanese, Malaysian, we've got slow cooking and some Sri Lankan. As you know, might know that my hubby is Sri Lankan. So um, that's Kuma from MasterChef. And these are some great uh, Sri Lankan cookbooks as well. <sighs> so that's it, guys. <laughs> I hope that you found that interesting. Um, so for those that love to sort of sticky beak and see what sort of books uh, people have well now you know some of my books and uh, as I said I'd love to know any feedback that you guys have got any books that maybe I've got that you've got that you want to give me some insights about or if there's books that I haven't got and you're like JJ I didn't see that on your bookshelf you really freaking need it uh, yeah I'd love you to to comment and give me some of your insights so I trust that that's been valuable um, I'd love to see your video if, of your bookshelf of your books wherever they are um, because I find that really interesting so if you want to do that make sure you tag me so that I can see that thanks guys have an awesome one and I look forward to hearing any of your comments thanks guys